With me today is Anna Cover, and she's featured on the front of our Box Frost Bulletin. I just want to ask her about her journey with disability and how she's been able to overcome that and what God's taught her through that process. So uh, thanks for sitting around the fire for a few minutes and let's ask you some questions. But tell us where you're from and how you first got into horses. So I'm from a small town in California and I grew up in the country. My neighbors had horses, so I started riding with them. That's really how I got started. What, what are some early memories you have of, of riding? How old were you, do you think, when you first started uh, getting on a horse? So one of the first couple rides I had was when I was probably six or seven. I was just led around on a horse, but that's when I really started loving them. That's awesome. It's kind of fun with some kids. They either like them or they don't. And, you know, if you've got that bug, you're probably just going to really want to ride the rest of your life. We'll take us back just a little bit. So. What condition were you born with and, and how have you dealt with this disability? So I was born with what's called PFFD. It's a hip and leg um, birth defect. They weren't formed correctly. Also, my left leg was shorter than my right leg. And when I was three years old, my left foot was amputated. I've had several other surgeries after that to strengthen things in my leg and my hip. Um, and then I've had a prosthetic ever since then. Hmm. So a lot of challenges, obviously. Um, but that didn't keep you back from, from riding and doing lots of different things. Uh, so when did you realize you, you could like pursue horses, you know, as, as even some career options and, and ride a lot? So at the beginning of high school, mm -hmm. I was old enough to start working for my neighbor, um, the one that has horses, and she would let me ride for her. Mm -hmm. And that's where I really got into horses and then after high school I started looking for options and I found Miracle Mountain Ranch um, and I loved that I would be able to learn more about horses and ride as well as learn about God. That's fun. What, what do you want to do? What, what type of riding is your favorite and stuff um, here at the ranch and maybe even as you, as you, you know, go on to something else one day? Western riding is probably my favorite, but since being here at the ranch I've learned to really like English mm -hmm. as well as jumping. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. That's fun. Now, uh, you mentioned jumping. Was that always easy for you? Has that been uh, one of the more challenging things? It was definitely very challenging. Uh, when I first started riding, I had a friend who was into jumping. She loved it. I thought it was super cool. I wish I could do it, but I told myself that I just couldn't because mm -hmm. I didn't think I could. And then coming here to the ranch, learning to ride English well, um, and then starting to jump and I was absolutely terrified. I didn't think I could do it, but the instructors I had kept pushing me and they kept challenging me and one day they were like, nope, this is what we're going to be doing today. And so I did it and I loved it. Even though it still scares me sometimes, it's really fun and I'm glad that I had those people in my life that pushed me past what I thought I could do. Have you ever fallen off a horse? Yes. What do you do when you fall off? Get back on. Hmm. Why? Why get back on? Why not just be done with the whole thing? Because if I don't get back on, I'm going to be too scared to later. <laughs> That's awesome. You know, I just think of, of young people and your, your role model to those that come to the ranch and stuff like that. I mean, sometimes it's easy to, to not um, be happy with how God made us. And so how have you learned to be content with the way that you were made? It's definitely been a journey. It's been really hard. Um, but knowing that God did make me this way and it wasn't an accident, it didn't just happen. He has a plan and he has a purpose. And even when I don't see that, I need to trust that that is true. And even though I don't feel like it's a good thing, it is and it can be and he will use it for his glory. What, do you, what have you found that God has taught you through having this you know, disability and, and all that you've overcome? Like, what have you been learning from that? And what do you think others can learn that, that you know, maybe there's somebody who's eight years old, has a similar condition, but they're, they're learning to, to work through it. What would you say to them? And what have you learned? One of the biggest things that I've learned is to trust God, that his plan is perfect, that it's not a mistake. I was made this way. Um, and even when I don't see it, he is working in me and in the people around me um, and that he will use, he will use it for his benefit. Well, thanks for coming in and, and let us interview you on this topic. Uh, you've been bold that way, but it's fun to see your story and just 
kind of have the story behind the picture in the front of that cover. So thank you very much. You're welcome.